Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about data security in Jamaica. Now, it has become public that there was a data breach at the Jamaica Public Service Company. Now, JPS, this happened two years ago and it's just now being made public because a whistleblower came out and spoke about it. So you have to ask the question, what, what measures or what security things are put into place when these companies have your personal information? And also, is there no, no statute or law that says if there is a data breach, you must notify the public within XYZ timeline? I mean, two years ago and persons were not told that their data was was compromised now jps is the jamaica public service they are the electricity provider in jamaica so you have to pay electricity bill every month or they disconnect you so jps will have some sort of information on you now jps is saying they don't keep customers credit card information i don't know if they're processed by a third party or what but that's what they're saying but jps will have other information on you and this is what you call now a technology world data driven web driven basically you can do everything online now so just using the jps experience as an example jps never notified the public about the breach it is only after they were asked about it after the whistleblower came forward and JPS was asked that they said yes there was a small breach and the way JPS explained it is that it was some test data and it was a very small data set and it was not that critical that's what they said but they never never voluntarily came forward at the time they found out about it at the time they found out about it they never said anything to the public so it turns out that um, according to JPS it was a test platform and you couldn't they didn't have much data but the whistleblower is saying that that's not true that there it was a big data breach and stuff like TRN numbers and those kind of things were were compromised and they traced it back to the software developer which did not put according to the article did not put in the correct safety measures or security measures so what the question we're asking today is do you think when a data breach like this occurs the company should notify the persons who were affected and I think they should because it is stated that the passwords were compromised that persons could see the passwords so just use that as an example if I know that my password for XYZ company has been compromised and people can see it I would then go and change that password but a lot of people use the same passwords for other companies, for other websites, those kind of things. So if the persons have my login information, like say email address, and they have the password, they can then use that and I use that password at another site. Then I would have to change the password on all the sites that I know I use that password on because it's not compromised. But they never inform the public. And I don't know, I know there was some data protection act that was passed recently or discussed. I don't, I don't know the details of it. If anybody knows, you can tell us in the comment section below. But I know when needs was to be passed originally, there was a huge problem with some data security aspect of it. And I think that's where this new bill was passed with a data security a new data security bill 
to protect persons' data. So I don't know if that bill indicates that persons must notify the customers if their data has been compromised. Um, if anybody knows, you can let us know. But on an overall aspect, there has to be more done to protect persons' data. Have to be. And there was some time also the Jam COVID website. I don't know if it was hacked or what, but persons' information was compromised on that website. The Jam COVID, and that is where the yeah, Jam COVID is. If you were trying to enter Jamaica during the, the COVID quarantine method was in place, you had to go to that website and fill out information. You had your address, your passport number, TRN number, a lot of information about the, your house, how many how rooms in it, a lot of information. And that information was compromised according to an article. And it turns out that it's the same software company that did the Jam COVID website that also did the JPS website. So I'm not sure what happened, but what you what do you guys think? Do you think that there should be something in the law that states once there is a data breach that reaches once your data has been compromised? You should be contacted and told of the compromise so that you can take the necessary steps. Now, it's not like you have an option. You have to use JPS. There is no option, basically, for that kind of... They are the largest provider of electricity service in Jamaica. So, there is nothing that can be done. I mean, it's not like you're going to get upset if you learn about the breach and go and use another company. There is only one. So, I think they should have notified the public and let persons know the extent of the information that was or possibly compromised. Maybe you're not going to know the exact amount, but I also think, and maybe this Data Protection Act does it, I don't know, but there must be something in the law that says if you collect persons' information and that information is compromised, Remember, you can't stop hacking in that. You can't stop these things. You can put in measures to safeguard it, but you, it's very hard. So you can't blame the companies when there's a data breach. You can't, because things change every day. But there should be some minimum level of data security. And if there's a breach, you should notify the people as to what information was possibly breached and when it happened and you should do it in a timely manner so that persons can know what to do all right guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe leave your comments about this topic in the section below let us know what you think all right guys have a good day